it's it's really hard. I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, I always tell myself and I tell my coaches, I this is the last year. No more no more times because I've had three camps during Ramadan, so I I got kind of like got a good process through it, and I got a kind of got it down to you know what works and what doesn't work for myself. But when you know when I call you for a main event spot, you're you're not gonna turn it down. You're never gonna say no. Um, and it was an opponent that I've had before, so uh, the opportunity was just too big. So for me. This time around, I think, having gone through it multiple times, um, I think I perfected it pretty much for this camp. Uh, a lot of the thing is just knowing what you're putting into your body. You got to know the, the right thing. So every night, you know, we're fasting from uh, sunlight to uh, sunset. So right before I wake up in the morning, you we usually wake up at uh, 3 a.m., 4 a.m., and I'm putting all the right uh, liquids right into my body. So I'm trying to get at least uh, one Pedialyte in and at least half a gallon to a gallon of water in in that uh, time frame. So uh, I usually probably wake up an hour early before the sunrise. And so I get a good meal in. I get my liquids in the right way because I know I'm going to be sweating out a lot during the practices. So that morning, um, I'm waking up at uh, sunrise. Hour before, I'm getting my breakfast ready. I know I'm having... Um, at least some sort of protein, usually eggs, turkey bacon. I'm getting right carbs in myself. So I want to have white potatoes, white rice, something that's going to digest faster and something that's not going to just make me feel heavier during the training sessions. So I want something that's going to give me the right type of energy, the good type of energy. But also, I can't. I still have a fight and I need to make weight. So I can't overdo it and have the sweets, have the cereal, <laughs> have the stuff that's really not – the empty calories that – most Muslims love to have during Ramadan. It's like, that's where, that's where we live. We use that excuse. Oh, I fasted all day. I can have some sort of dessert. <laughs> For me, no dessert. I'm being healthy the whole way through. So my first training session um, is usually at 10 a.m. Okay. So in the morning. So you're training uh, while you're right. fasting, like in the middle of fasting, you're not having any, like just for reference, there's no liquids, there's no eating. You're training during this time as well. Yes, yeah, I'm training during it. So wow. the first, the first maybe, yeah, the first week, it's very hard. Uh, the first two to three days, I think your body starts adjusting and getting used to it. Um, I had the right teammates, the right uh, people around me that know me. I'm a guy that's hard-headed and always wants to push through. I don't want to look soft. So no matter what, I'm going to try to push through the tiredness, the soreness, the thirstiness. Uh, and I have a great group of teammates around me that, hey, they're not going to drink water in front of me. They see me uh, not drinking. They see me not eating. They know to, all right, not, not let me put all my weight on top of you. Not let me go 100% to try to kill this guy because he hasn't eaten anything. So I have a great respect for my teammates, and that's what you really need, the good support system around you. So my practice is at 10 a.m. We have an hour to two hours. Usually that first practice, either light drilling uh, or pad work with my coach and the teammates, and then – during the, the, the rest of the day, it's like, all right, a rest period. And then I'm doing some sort of weightlifting in the middle, probably like around 5 o'clock. Very light weights, nothing crazy because, like I said, I didn't have any – nothing after that uh, first practice, no water or uh, protein after that first practice. So I'm trying to get weights in right before I'm going to be breaking my fast. So right after I do my weight session, break my fast, still you got to be very smart. Because I'm putting a small meal in. You don't want to overdo it to where I can't do nothing else for the rest of the night because I do have another session. Um, so it's another lighter meal. Making sure I, I replenish all my liquids. So I'm weighing myself in the morning and I'm knowing what I sweated out. And I'm trying to put that uh, amount of weight back on myself with the uh, liquids. A lot of water, a lot of salt, a lot of sodium. Uh, so it stays in absorbed. Electrolytes, but good electrolytes. Not sugary drinks like... Gatorade or anything. I'm trying to drink Pedialyte. Uh, another good uh, company that I'm working with now is uh, um, the salts, the, the what's called regular sports salts that are giving you the right energy, the right things for you. So I'm using a lot of those. And then, um, like I said, another rice, potato, protein. And then I'm having another session uh, an hour after that. So usually after that, uh, that third session, today then i'm done i go to the mosque it's pray time yeah uh we're praying for about uh an hour for the rest of the night 
usually during Ramadan, you have a lot of family come over. You see a lot of uh, friends, family. We're usually hanging out. So it's late nights. Late night, probably midnight-ish. When I'm not doing a strength conditioning in the middle of the day, I'm doing late night conditioning. So it's either a longer jog at midnight and right before I'm going to bed. Hit the long jog. Usually I'll have my family or a couple friends that'll go on it with me because, like I said, a lot of people use that excuse. It's Ramadan. They don't want to work out. I'm lazy. I'm sitting there. But if I have a camp, I'm making my brothers go on a jog with me. I'm making my my sister, family go on a jog with me. Everybody works out when I work out. 